Uh, so I'm Jordan Leatherman, along with my wife Katie and our son Cullen and daughter Elliot. We own and operate Final Drive Genetics, to, uh, based here in Paragold, Arkansas. Um, <clears throat> Final Drive Genetics would have started in um, 2010. It's we're a show pig uh, uh, company where we raise and sell show pigs across the country for kids for their 4-H and FFA projects um, at all different levels and in different uh, uh, parts of the country. Um, it would have started in 2010 with my dad and I and uh, back in Indiana where I'm originally from um, and we just started with two sows just kind of on the side as a hobby and so it kind of blossomed from from there and so two turned into 10 to 20 to 30 and, and now we're uh, you know running around 60 head of 60 head of sows. Three years ago Katie and I um, we were living in Indiana after we got married and uh, running it um, uh, the business and then uh, moved down here and <clears throat> took over and, and started doing it full time. A uh, big reason for that was our, our business was growing a lot in the south uh, here in Arkansas with Katie and her, her dad and the, the you know what they had going on here in Arkansas. We were selling a lot of pigs into Arkansas and so just proximity for us was closer um, and it was just a, a, a you know also a family move but a business move for us in terms of getting closer down to the south. It honestly was a really hard decision for us to move just because we were we were close to Jordan's family as well, and so um, obviously it was great to be back home, but it wasn't an easy decision for us. But us being here at the farm where I grew up, it obviously means a lot to uh, me and I think Jordan as well, and then uh, having our kids here um, involved as well really helps. Katie's dad, Alan, obviously is an extension agent here in Arkansas for 36, or in Greene County for 36 years, and I think 38 years all, all together. And so obviously he'd worked with a lot of kids for a long period of time, and, th and that did help us start building our business here in Arkansas, obviously. I did grow up showing, uh, my family and I raised sheep for many, many years, and then after we sold out our sheep, we kind of got more, um, more into the showing pigs all across the country, and I was very blessed with um, I would consider a somewhat successful career showing pigs, um, and I actually finished out. I guess when I was 21, I finished. I, I was married at my last show, so <laughs> I think that was time for me to call it quits. And so, yeah, um, yeah, I was very, very blessed for that. And so, it's it's fun being able to offer those same opportunities for kids that were able to help. And so, makes it that much more special, kind of knowing what they're going through and what they're doing in the shows and how they're feeling and the emotions that are involved. I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, it is a business, and so we're trying to produce these things and sell them, and, and you've got to be, you know, profitable to, to continue to, to do that and, and, and develop that. But at the end of the day, the big reason we do this, and, and Katie's being a little humble, saying just she had a nice show career, she probably has as a decorative show career as anybody in the country, especially at that, that time period, went in national shows, went in the Arkansas State Fair numerous times, and a bunch of showmanship. Uh, across the country at major stock shows and so that really instilled in her um, I know a bunch uh, of what uh, work ethic is and, and for us helping these young kids uh, learn to work and you're, you're getting a project um, and you have to see that project through from start to finish and so I know Katie from her her time showing and, and my my time showing you know those kind of things were instilled in us and, and taught us and so that's what we want to help those kids not only have some of the success that we had while we were showing but ultimately have you know set up set themselves up for life and have success you know farther down the road so I think something else that it teaches us is that no matter how hard we try how much effort we put in how much we do the right things not everything's going to go our way in life and so it kind of teaches them to roll with the punches and make the most they, they can most that they can of every situation. 